All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Flight Plan mod, which is being made by forum user RealGecko, and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, well, a Flight Planner, and I really, really do love this mod. It's a very simple piece of work, but one that I think I'm probably going to keep in my regular game now, because even though it is simple, it is very, very useful, as essentially what it does is every time you add a maneuver node to your flight, it will add an entry into a very beautifully designed UI flight plan. And what it'll do is not only have the maneuver node, but also put in there, if you're encountering a sphere of influence, escaping from a sphere of influence, when your next maneuver node is, and you can even click on the individual items to focus your camera on them. It doesn't sound like much, but the bigger and more complicated your missions get, it becomes more and more useful. I cannot tell you how many times I've planned in the past a big, long-term mission where I'm hitting up multiple planets, and I'll suddenly zoom out to see my entire flight plan, and it's just a freaking hornet's nest of lines and waypoints everywhere. It gets confusing to keep track of things, but thanks to the flight plan UI, it's in a very convenient manner for you to easily navigate. So let's actually go into the tracking station and go to a flight plan ship that I've got prepped up here for us to show you how to use this mod and basically all the different things you can do with it. So effectively, if we just open up our map here and say we want to start a maneuver node to encounter the moon. Now, of course, you just sort of do your usual thing of finding the good spot and then just editing, editing it till you have exactly what you want. And that is lovely. But say, what if we, for instance, then wanted to add another maneuver node to go to, oh, uh, maybe, maybe Minmus if I can get it. Oh boy, I always forget which one I need to go up. There we go. And then out, and oh, it may take me a while to actually figure out how to get a get a encounter with Minmus there. Oh, hey, we get another encounter with the moon. You know what? That'll do. That'll do. We have a second encounter. I'm happy with that. And yeah, there we go. So it's it's a small flight plan, but still you can start to see how things could get complicated. The more nodes you have, the more stuff you have on screen. But we can make it simpler. What we have here is this little button, and that is the flight plan button. So if you click this, we are brought into the flight plan, and it is a very beautifully done simple UI, which in fact, I probably should mention here, is a larger project Real Gecko seems to be doing. It appears that he's trying to make a new UI framework that you can use in the game if you so desire that matches this and I kind of like it it's very clean very modern ish very cool and so you can see here on our list for our fly plan we have our vessel the current sphere of influence that we're in our first maneuver node we have to burn to what it's going to do encounter the moon we have our second node here, what it's going to do, which is escape Kerbin, and then finally encounter the moon yet again. And what's fun is on any one of these pieces, I can click on to zoom. So say for instance, we're zoomed into our ship and we want to see this maneuver node here because we think to ourselves, well, maybe we should edit this one. Just simply click. And there we go. It's taken us to that specific maneuver node. Or say we want to go to uh, the next moon encounter, we click that and it focuses on the moon itself. Similarly, if we go to escape Kerbin, it will focus on Kerbin there. And if we say want to go back to our vessel after everything is said and done, we just click right there on the uh, name of our vessel. Now we do also have this current sphere of influence option here as well, because we are, of course, currently around in orbit of Kerbin. So if we click that, it would again refocus us on that planet. But I think the most useful thing is being able to click on these maneuver nodes and go right to them. Because again, I can't tell you how many times I've done a wacky mission where I'm going out way past Duna to the territory of Jewel, etc. And I'll have like five maneuver nodes around Jewel and I'll have like one maneuver node by Duna to get me there. 
And so I'd have to zoom all the way in, change all sorts of map views, or I could simply click on one of these maneuver nodes. Now, thing is, it's gonna focus on where it is. So like right now with how far away we're zoomed out, we're technically focused on it. But if we were to zoom in all the way here and say had, yeah, what the heck, let's just add another wacky maneuver node just to go way out into space somewhere to show you that use. And boom, there we go, we've escaped the sun. All right, and we'll go over here, add another and go this way. Beautiful, beautiful, lovely. And then say we have another maneuver node here just doing that. Excellent. So say if we were still worrying about our current maneuvers right around Kerbin, and we wanted to make sure, oh, that last maneuver node, was it in the right place? Again, we can click it, it'll take us all the way over there so we know exactly where it is, what we can do with it, and we can edit it from here. It's very, very useful. Again, a very simple mod. It doesn't really do much. It just records your maneuver nodes and what you're escaping or encountering. But those few options added to a very beautiful, simplistic list makes it very, very powerful. And of course, always the nice back to our you know, vessel ship here. Very cool. Very well made. I really got to hand it to Real Gecko here on this one. As it, again, it's it's simple but useful. And eventually, it does have some plans to add in some cartographer uh, usage with it. So there'll be a little bit of back and forth between flight plan and cartographer, which will be quite interesting. I don't use cartographer much, but it is a useful mod, and it would be nice to have a little bit of integration with that there. But overall. Just this simple flight plan mod, and of course you can move it around all over the place. And it's just, it's just useful. Very, very useful. So if you would like to check out this mod for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description, as always. As, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for this one. That's, uh, again, it's simple but useful. So go check it out, have some fun with it, enjoy the ability to click all around the solar system within seconds to get to all of your different maneuver nodes and even of course focus on say the sun for some reason i mean it's a big bright ball good to focus on it on occasion i guess but yes that's gonna be it folks i hope you all have enjoyed and of course that you do come back for the next episode when we will be looking at yet another wonderful mod but until that time thank you for watching and as always have a good one